and welcome back to my channel today as you can see i'll be using my real voice because why not well there's not much to explain about this video it's pretty self-explanatory i'll be giving my opinion on certain recent k-pop comebacks and also some debuts i've been looking forward i wanted to do this for me too but you know what i don't want this video to be an hour long because that's really not the point maybe i'll make one for next month i don't know i'll see well, with this out of the way, let's get started. Alright, I know this song wasn't even released in June, but I really need to talk about it. Also, it dropped out on the 31st of May, so it's really not that huge difference. First of all, I didn't expect this from TXT, and it's really something I didn't know I needed. I swear to God that the song hits so hard, and I just love the rock sound. At this point, I think this song is more like an anthem, but anyways, all of TXT's songs are masterpieces. Uh, however, I did like Can't You See Me More, so I don't think this is their best comeback yet. Anyways, it's still one of the best. Overall, I give it a 9 out of 10. Okay, so to start, I would like to say that I'm not the biggest fan of this song though, but I was really waiting for a Monstax comeback, so here we are. Also, the album is gold. The besides are so good, probably their best album yet. But anyways, let's focus on the song. As I said before, it's not really my style, but it hits hard as hell, and I can't deny that. Also, we stand you, honey, main vocalist. Really, I was so shocked with the high note. The um, yeah, we stand talent. Also, hot as f supremacy. So yeah, the song is not really my style, but I still like it. Yeah, it's not bad though. And anything Monsex touches is gold, so as they are my alt group, I'm going to give them a 7.5. Okay, first of all, why didn't I find any live performances for this song? Can someone explain me, please? And second, Am I the only person in this fucking world that doesn't like this song? It gives me power vibes, but in a bad way. Because I like power more. And I'm so sorry I'm relating this to, but it really gives the same vibe, at least for me. And I did like power more, but I just can't with this song. I normally don't like this type of choruses. And um, it's just annoying to me that EXO has come back finally after more than one year, almost two. And I don't like the song. It's so frustrating. But anyways... Uh, I'm not hating on the voice or anything because I am an XOL myself, but I really don't like the song. But I was waiting for an EXO comeback, so I can't say I'm disappointed. Overall, I give this song a 4 out of 10. Party on lockdown. Here we go again, another amazing debut that feels like comeback. I swear that when I entered the MV for the first time, I got several NCT 
vibes, but several NCT vibes. I don't know if it's just me, but I really thought I was watching an NCT video. I don't know. Uh, yeah, an amazing debut. Uh, the rap, the outfits, the MB, and also the lyrics. The lyrics are just so deep. I really love it. Also, the chorus is just Chaps Kiss, and I really love that they used this type of song, a rap song, as a debut. I really love it. And yeah, an amazing debut, and I just don't know if these days their roots are comebacks or, or whatever, but it feels like. Overall, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Again, am I really the only one that doesn't like this song? Uh, when I first watched the teaser, I knew I wouldn't like it because it's really not my style. I do like summer concepts, but the whole song and the whole melody of it was so frustrating in a way. But anyways, the album is absolutely another level. The beat sides are just amazing. Uh, I love Scandal, Conversation, First Time. I love all of them. It's really something amazing. But uh, I still don't like the title track. <laughs> Well, anyways, this is just one song out of Twice's whole discography, so it really doesn't matter that much, right? Overall, I give it a 5 out of 10. Oh, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Why? Why am I discovering this boys now? I know they debuted last year, but still, they deserve so much more recognition. This song is so catchy and refreshing, and I really love the outfits they used on stage. They look really comfortable, actually, in my opinion. And yeah, the song is so good. I watched the teasers and I knew I was going to like it because I usually like this type of chill songs. And also, the pre-chorus is literally a piece of art. Please go and stream this masterpiece because this boys deserve it. Overall, I give the song and comeback an 8 out of 10. <laughs> First of all, I want to say that I'm super happy for Cho Won's debut. She really deserved it. So yeah, congratulations to you and to all of the girls. About the song, the only thing I can say is that I really like it. It's super catchy and I really like the post chorus. The way they say vanilla is so cute. And I'm going to say this and I want it to be clear. I normally don't like cute concepts. But Vanilla is the exception. Um, still, I can tell that it has to grow on me a little bit more. But just wait. <laughs> um, yeah, an amazing debut and I wish the best for all of the girls. Overall, I give it a 7 out of 10. We about to paint the town. Finally, I was waiting for a Luna O12 comeback and it's finally here. I love the song and I love the Indian elements used in it. Also, the girls look so damn gorgeous and I'm not even lying. But anyway, the choreo is so intense and hard so I hope the girls are doing okay. And one thing, where are Bibi and Go One? Because I swear I didn't see them in the, in the MB. Really, BBC. Really? Also, I just want to mention this because this is Hassel's first comeback after the hiatus. The um, whistle 
in the na 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 part of Olivia at the end. I think that's Hazel. I'm not really sure, but I'm totally sure she can pull off that. So, no doubts. But anyways, the song is so good. So, I was going to give it an 8 out of 10. But while I was making this video, I listened to it randomly one more time. And I finally decided to give it a 9 out of 10. Vamos a la fiesta! And to end up with the video, we have got another debut that was released two days ago and that it's... How, how do I say it? It's the most flowest debut I have ever seen. That's the reason why I have to talk about it. It's so good. The chorus is so good. The whole song is so good. What can I say? It's not the catchiest hook ever, but I really love Vamos a la Fiesta. It's so good. I love it. What What more can I say? I'm just speechless. I swear to God, I need to stand this voice. I, I don't have... I don't have words. I swear, I don't have words. Uh, and this is the highest rank in this video. And I give them a 10 out of 10. This boys deserve it and I really wish the best for them in the future. So here ends the video and I'm really sorry that I couldn't include all the releases. But I really don't want this video to be an hour long. It's already 12 minutes long or like that. But anyways, I chose the ones I wanted to talk about the most. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay healthy, drink water, and I'll see you next week in the next video. Bye!